Okay, this is me with my best friends having an epic day in a city called Batroon. But it's not just that. Meet the girl who made living life to the fullest her full-time job. This is Lea. Lea, Lea Dahruz. She's a crazy adrenaline junkie, free-spirited human being, in love with the outdoors and with pushing her boundaries, all while having fun in the healthiest ways. One of the few people I know that knows how to live life to the max. Most of us spend a big portion of the year working on a 9-to-5 job to feed ourselves and pay the bills. But a couple days a year are dedicated to having fun and doing the things we crave the most. But Lea is one of the rare exceptions. She does the complete opposite. So we wanted to spend a day in the life with her. Until today, we have never met in person, so I called and asked her to organize a day for us. She had full control. Let's go! It's gonna be awesome. So the next day, we hit the road, but before, we had to make Maria run for the best seat of the car, obviously. Per perfect, really <laughs> perfect. Rob is taking us on like a surprise adventure with this random girl he met on Instagram. It's, <laughs> it's so sketchy. <laughs> so naturally, we hit the road to meet this very sketchy person, and we were ready for her to take control of her day. Usually, I don't plan my day, so we will see what Oh, <laughs> spontaneity, baby. First stop of the day, Ferne Sabaya for our vegan shawarma. Did you know that? That vegan shawarma even existed. First vegan shawarma of my life. Fern es sabaya, right here. Sahten. <laughs> here they replaced the meat with an equivalent that's as tasty and nutritious as original meat. They're one of the first people to do this in Lebanon. They're making the vegan shawarma right now. I can't wait to taste it. It looks like a normal one. And the bread is made here as well. Here's the dough. Look at this. It looks delicious. Vegan shawarma? Yes! Yeah! It tastes just like me, like actually. <laughs> They're making us their specialty dessert now. Muarrafa. Almond and walnuts, sugar and rose water. Our love. It's from the Fresh out of the oven. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Small authentic places are the best to experience the good cuisine. Okay, next destination is... Batroon. We're going to Batroon. <laughs> The energy in our car was great, but some other cars lacked it, so naturally, we had to share it. Oh sh! And that led us to the Lebanese army checkpoint. We will see if they will be generous or no. <laughs> Did you just see what happened? That was so cool. They had just sang to the Lebanese army. They gave us their scratchy things. They got charmed and they just gave the, the flags. <laughs> Right now we are in Batroun and we are taking some bikes and touring around the old city. It's gonna be freaking epic. I love this city. Let's go! This is the main bay of uh, Batroun. It's just beautiful. You got ancient buildings, really narrow streets all around and the sea is crystal clear. This is Feren Coco, my love. <laughs> Lebanese are the new hippies. No work, no water, no electricity. And still happy. happy. <laughs> Amazing. So this is an Orthodox church with the view of the Phoenician wall. Just right at the Orthodox church, we have a beautiful view on the sea behind us. Okay, now we are going to the Phoenician wall. We're gonna try to go on it. It's a Phoenician wall that dates back from thousands of years ago. Right here, that's the wall. We're on the wall, finally! Do you like it? Yeah! As 
you may have noticed, Batroon is a really charming city with so much history. Actually, one of the oldest in the world. But what I like even more than its culture is its legendary inhabitants. Now we're in the old port of Batrun. This is the lighthouse right behind us. Wow, it's just beautiful. The color of the water is so blue. So blue. I rarely saw it that blue in Lebanon. This place literally looks like Italy. See, the boys are up in the lighthouse. Oh, actually, we're all going up. Yalla, we're all going up then. <laughs> This place is just magical. Look at this. Wow. It's a freaking lighthouse. It's stupendo. It's no. stupendo. Oh. Yeah, stupendo. <laughs> stupendo. By the way, guys, this vlog is shot on iPhone because my camera's broken. If you didn't remember, oh my gosh. I want to jump right now. Look at this. Nope. What a chill day. Leah yeah, took a great initiative to bring us to Batrun. We needed this. We needed this little vacation, you know, this little holiday. Right here, there's a lot of salt ponds. And some of the locals here, they just pick up the salt and they use it in their restaurants and their food. Yeah, it's salt. It's wow. salty. <laughs> Crazy fun fact. Salt is salty. Okay, yeah, the next destination. Helmi's Lemonade, classic in Batroun. On our way there, we met our dear friend Michel by pure coincidence, and so we continued towards Helmi to get lemonades together. We're in Helmi's right now. Helmi's. They have the only lemonade museum in the world, and they make some of the best lemonade in the city. A fresh lemonade from Helmi's in summer, or, or spring even, is oh, amazing. Because wow. the humidity here is crazy. Fresh lemonade is so good. I can confirm. He can confirm. I can confirm. <laughs> Going to the beach, let's go. This is a classic of Batrun Colonel Reef. It's the bar where they serve the beer that they brew. It's been such a long time I didn't go uh, to the beach or swim, but now okay, it's time. Hi, welcome to Batrun. Tequila, tequila. Batrun! Batrun, man! It's really like eye-opening, like the new perspectives I'm gaining from this trip. I'm learning a lot about like what it means to like the people that matter in your life. It's like, it's, yeah. And vice versa. Let's go grab beer. So this is beer and this is beer. So what do you want? You choose. Mm, beer, uh, I was gonna go for the beer, but I'm gonna go for the beer. You can't drink beer, <laughs> cause you're not 18 yet. One day of difference. Tomorrow. Tomorrow she turns 18 and she can officially drink a beer. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. 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 Wow, the bubbles. Oh my gosh. I don't drink beer, but uh, enjoy, guys. Okay, we just finished with Colonel beer and we are going. Go, 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 go. We're going in a very, very narrow street right now to arrive to the little gem of Coco's Bakery. Okay, let's go to Foot and Coco, babies. You like making fun of me now? <laughs> First impressions of Batrun, what did you think? I, I like it a lot. And it's so different, dude. Oh my god, Tripoli, Beirut, here, Yakshut. It's completely yeah. different. <laughs> hey. Are you the Coco? Yes, it's me, Coco! <laughs> Angel? Yeah! <laughs> Angel? You know the specialty here, brioche. They've been doing it since the French were here in the country, and it's still as traditional as good. Le bal bon chocolat, always j'en fais chocolat. Chocolate and puffy bread, the best. Wow, tant bon. Delicious. Great. Good stuff, mate. And now we are leaving again. Other people enjoying their brioches. <laughs> <laughs> Jump number two. What's your name? Felix. Felix is jumping as well. Let's go. Felix! Felix! <laughs> Great job, Felix! Ciao. 
Yalla! Oi, meninos! What is up, man? How did you like today? Oh, man. Okay, guys, that's it for today. We just cliff jumped off a very tiny cliff, five meters high. Welcome to Lebanon. Firas, he's offering me a shot of Ara. Ara is anus. Uh, anus? Anus? Anise. It's liquor of anise. Cheers. Uh, it's good. <laughs> good? I'm from Zahle. This comes from Zahle. Really? Yeah. Wow. I have rarely met someone who loves life as much as Leah. She's one of the few who dares to live doing what she truly loves instead of following the rules set by society. Today, she was on a very important call for a job interview that would decide the next steps of her life. And she got what she wanted. As I'm recording this voiceover, she's actually on her way to France to work in an indoor skydiving company, which will later help her accomplish her bigger, more ambitious goals. Today was a great reminder to live in the present and focus on what we love doing. Because as we saw with Leah, that's the way to cultivate great energy and a positive mindset. How did you find this day? Amazing. Leah, you're a legend. Thank you so much. Leah! You have, you have one word to say to the camera to finish the day epically. Love life! Like live! Let's go! See you tomorrow! Yeah.